Hello everyone, welcome back to some more board game arena gameplay. Uh, I think we're going to start off with some world today. I've been playing it a bit more recently and enjoying it. We'll set up the chat. Hello Bob, hello Gladys. All right, 1600 rated opponent. Normal size cards, what do we have here? Hmm, nothing too exciting. Out of all these I like oil rig the most, but I think because I'm not decided which direction yet, I'll take the white recycle and probably bionic grass because Planet Grass could be a combo potential with Research Center. I think it's pretty safe. I'll play an Ark Nova next game, but it's not going to be Arena. I'm quite content with my current Arena rating. <laughs> I'll play a like a normal a normal Ark Nova or a friendly if someone wants a game. Hello, Maro. I'm quite happy being in top 10 at Arena, and I definitely don't want to lose it on stream. But if if someone's going to knock me out and I have to play again this season, I'll play off stream. Also looking at Secret Lab. Uh, three yellow recycles. Exactly. If uh, if Yeti snipes me, I would not be happy at all. And you already know that he wants to. And anyway, not not certain that our opponent's actually here, which would be a bad way to start the stream. But they have never been kicked out before. I can maybe beat him 40% of the time, but I don't like those odds. We'll give him the old, hey, are you still here? Uh, on Friday there was no lag, but there's not normally lag on the Friday stream, so we'll see. This is a new streaming location, much closer to the router, much closer to the modem, so there shouldn't be any issues. Uh, they're an upstanding citizen, so I'm not going to kick him out. But I'll queue again. Did I somehow... Did someone just overtake me during that... During the time that that happened? Huh. Okay, here we go. The person that just overtook me, alright. This will be a fun match. Ooh. There's some good things here. There's okay, there's uh there's a lot of good things here. I think Harbor Zone's the best card. There's also the uh oil rig plus underwater city combo, which is really good. But I think just Harbor Zone, there's a couple of other yellows. It's really looking like a good blue build though, but not seeing a nuclear plan or anything makes me hesitant, so I think just the strongest potential card. Maybe it's just Underwater City though. Recycling plant you'd never want to see. Yeah, that's really not a lot. When you start recycling plant, I can't stop him building it, but there's a chance I get Underwater City back. If not, it's going to be... Oh. <laughs> I won't be joining you in your for sale ventures. Propaganda, that's, that's a reasonable take. I'm okay getting Underwater City here. Though no blue cards is not great either. I'm, I'm happy that I took Harbour Zone away though. We'll take the financier away, plus we need it for 
underwater city. I, oh, we don't, but I'll take it away anyway. We get a we get a blue back from here, blue or a white back from here. We need both. Yeah, I don't think anyone's Dwarven time's the closest to uh to getting the Arc Championship away from Song Chen, but I don't think either's happening. Alright, we are going to get a white back from here. But we could take Barnet Grass anyway just as a as a card to build. We could also just take Solar Cannon. Might make more sense. Because we're already producing the yellow, so we have yellow discards for it. So if we get a white back from here, we need a blue discard here. Take Zeppelin, because two icebreakers are the same. We get the white. Mm, I much prefer the opponent's start, but I can't do anything about that. Uh, Harbor Zone's probably a bit too ambitious to go for. It's not a great start without any blue cards. Yeah, I feel like Harbor Zone's way too far away. Great Western Trail I have played... I played just the one game of it, actually, I think. Um, wasn't really a huge fan, but there was more trouble learning it in my first game, so... I know it's very popular, I just haven't played it a whole lot. Okay, what we really need is a little cheap blue card that produces a lot. We need to deny all financiers. Okay, both these are good options, but Lunar Base kind of have to take away point scoring cards first, plus this is really good for us. We get one of these back. We're happy with either. Jesus Christ. Okay, with Magnetic Train there, we have to take away Robot Assistance. We get one of these blue back as well. Ah, this is, yeah, this is not... This is not turning out good at all. In fact, I'd be fairly confident we can almost concede from this point, but we'll play it out. Um, going for our own re recycling plant seems fine. Can't Stop Express? Yes. I don't mind Can't Stop Express. Get this to get Recycling Plant. What are we getting back from here? Probably take Zeppelin from the other hand. Just to get some more production. Uh... Maybe we just take our scoring card while it's here. Look to get Zeppelin back from the other hand. Yeah. Satellites could also be an option. But we have we have green going to Lunar Base and Solar Cannon. Okay, this at least ties up white for one round, so we're denying one financier. Get King Solomon's built soon. Get a Crystallium here. So we could even build City of Agatha first, actually. 
might be a better choice. Yeah, now we need to figure out a way to uh, stop him getting the green bonus. But at least only one scoring card. There are avenues to victory if he finds no scoring cards. Decent. Okay, Giant Dam's really what we do need. Mm -hmm. Not the underwater city though. The problem is if we leave Giant Dam, we just get all our generals taken for the rest of the game. But I feel like underwater city coming. I feel like underwater. Yeah, under. We want both. We want Moo as well. We'll take the dam. Okay, agriculture is the probably the worst card we could have seen. We'll take the scoring yellow card plus a yellow recycle for this. Uh, there's also no black cards. Yeah, we, we had daylight savings yesterday. That's a pity. Mm, if he's on the ball, he'll also take away the other blue recycle from the other hand, which was the only thing there. Move for scoring. Okay, we get it back. We have to get rid of you. Fountain of Youth coming back would be good. We also might want to... We don't need to build Giant Dam this round because we just don't need the black production for anything. So we could take a research center. Now I feel like getting super computer back is pretty useless actually. Looks like he may just try to, don't know if he's building the oil rig or not, he may just try to tie us on black production. Hey, we're, we're mm, might just build giant down this round. We're definitely building these. The only question is... Like, I feel like these two can probably go... We'll see which direction he goes. So that's just going to tie us on black. But I feel like tying, tying him on green is more important because it denies a financier for at least one round. Generals are worth more to us though. So, okay, it's just better to get, just better to get a general then. Only need 10 points. Not easy to get 10 points. It's, it's extremely easy to lose 10 points. I'll tell you that. I've, I've done it many times this season. I think we start on Fountain of Youth. You know, if... Okay, if there are no financing multipliers... Plus from this hand, there's nothing... We take away, we take away genetic, I think. 
Oh, it could also be secret lab that we take away. I feel like we take away genetic because we can also build it for points. Okay, Atlantis is denying us. That's good. Ooh, there really is nothing. Museum we can even take for good points. You know what? We're actually a chance because there is nothing here. Take away the other secret lab for four points. Okay, the question is, how do we build all these? We need to... We need to get some blue production. We ideally want 11. We have three crystallium. We can build that. Might just have to abandon Moo and just build Museum instead with the Crystallium. Uh, Mega Drill's just easier. They're both easy to build. Mega Drill's easy to build. Don't remember if there was a black recycle. Oh, there, there is. Okay. All right. So I don't know if we build museum, but we build everything else. I mean, yeah, I don't know if we build Moo or museum. All right, these three, yes, you, no. We have enough black, we have enough white, we have enough green, yellow we have enough for lunar base, we're one short on museum. So, I actually think we build all of this. I think we get it done. He definitely builds everything, but I believe we have enough. Yes, yeah, so we need two Crystallium, one on Lunar Base, one on Museum. GG. Yeah, we had a rough start, but we just had to bank on the fact that there were no point scoring cards coming up, and that's what happened. I mean, basically though, like, any other financing multiplier, like Secret Society or anything, and we just straight up lose, because they're plus 17 minimum. So we were lucky that there were zero scoring cards in that last round. Not playing arena today. But I am playing it next. So... Do you want a friendly match or am I just queuing for a normal game? I think I'll just queue for a normal game. Uh, we definitely have to change the settings. I'm, I'm satisfied being top 10. We'll go same map only. 
All right, you want to do it friendly? Okay. All right, I'll set it up. <laughs> yeah, what happened to this mysterious tier list? Top 10 is definitely shaky. But if I have to play again, I'll play again off stream. I mean, the, the onus is really on other people to, to kick me out of top 10. All right, the hills. I don't mind the hills. It's friendly, don't worry. So I see a nice little two primate combo, which we could potentially get out. I don't think it's worth going for four. We could start like size three here. It'd be, it would be pretty suspicious, but actually it, the order works out really well. We can boost down cards. My hand is pretty sick too. I think we keep the eagle. Don't know if keeping a fourth animal's right or the third animal's right. Maybe just the release. We already have an, an early project though. You know, Mr. Sunbear that could come in handy. What's our end goals? Architectural, naturalist. My second player too. Yeah, so the pro the so the plan is size three animal boost down cards, free range, bam, primates two. Petting oh really wants the science lab. Alright, have it. Have it. Have your science lab. Yeah, it's actually pretty decent. I wonder if, he, if he'll be able to tell from this placement. Almost certainly. Yeah, sick to appeal from this free range. It could also be end games. Yeah, I have a feeling he's about to like super break on us. But he can't cause it. And even if he does cause it, it's not actually that no, he can't he can't cause it on us. We're we're chilling. We're chilling. We get primates too. We can get maybe a nice expert on the Americas for even more appeal. We could snap it up. Could just take worker. Depends what he does here. He definitely knows what's up. This might be the best free range monkeys that I've played in the last six months. Maybe. Exponent small with petting zoos, a nice start. Plus we know he has science lab and draws from the deck, all right. The round's going on long enough that we could just take worker upgrade build. Oh, we could just upgrade sponsors actually. Also tempted by the money. I feel like we can we can get away with the worker here. Still feel like upgrade build, because we can fully build. We do like kiosk size 2, or kiosk pavilion size 1, size 2. Just because we, we have the 5 money, we can draw, we can draw from deck.
really stumped him here. So does he have one or two petting zoos? <laughs> Guessing horse. Oh, guinea pig, okay. Yeah, it has to be. There's no way he'd start petting zoo with only one. He might he might even have all three. Oh, he's flexing. He's gonna reel the third one right now. He's very unsure of himself lately. Yeah, indeed. The H doesn't count for free range, sadly. Also doesn't count for archaeologist, because it, it doesn't have a yellow black background. So when you're paying attention, those were the same two, and he did not pouch anything. Oh, he, he did pouch. Okay, he did pouch. Oh, yeah, size, size one works for the Agama. Polar bear is pretty nice. Can fit polar bear at the top here. I know my shapes. Mm, I think we... Because we drew that, do we even want to cover the H? I feel like yes, just because it lets us cover the H's with the next build action fully. Arky is a bit underwhelming. We can X down animals here. And maybe start with Africa Partner Zoo, because we are going to play a Ghana. Africa Partner Zoo into. Mm, I think Arky dies. It does work with architectural, though. Spotted hyena compound. I wonder if he plays it. It fits here, doesn't it? Or is that the other way? Or it fits here. Yeah, it does. I wonder if he plays it. Ooh, we could even snap up Africa release. Actually, that looks... that looks nice. He does play it. Okay, I'm fine with the longer round. So he's got Science Lab and Komodo Dragon. Okay, that's pretty dead. We still got stuff to play. Maybe we just draw from the deck. I don't know, another project's really tempting, actually. Problem is if he leeches off it. Diversity is nice. Pettings are also tempting. I think we just play polar bear next. You have a third petting zoo? Oh, disgusting. Yeah, what are we discarding? Probably Arky plus... Uh, don't know, diversity could be okay. At this stage, diversity is going. We do want we do want to upgrade sponsors though. Just X back animals. See what he does. He'll probably just cause the break here. But that lets us... Well, actually, he, he might not, because it lets us uni-block him. Yeah, gonna say. Don't think he wants to cause the break, because we just uni-block. I think we do it anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with that. We're about to get two sponsors. So we can start with...
could just start with hand size. There's a sponsors upgrade for Science Lab. Start with hand size, build fully, and then probably upgrade sponsors. Hand size lets us play expert on Americas from range if he doesn't play it first. This will be building to cover all the H's. Let's see what he gets. Ornithologist, okay. Bard Owl Hut's gone, thank you. And... Alright, nice chill explorer. He's uh, very happy about it as well. Into a sponsorship elephants for us, very nice. Uh, it's not the worst, we can just sunbathe it. Like, free sunbathing right here. Arcade's playable. So, Explorer first, we guess. Mm, I think out of all these, we just draw from deck. Very useful. Native, okay, Native Lizards is sick. That's playable next turn. Elephant, I don't think, is coming out. Too expensive. Native Lizards is one of the best things on this map, though. Like, free 9 appeal. The No S stream. Yeah, this is the No stream. The, the wonders part of the stream has gone to bed. You are correct. Hey, Siva. Mm. We'll just go Europe, Partner Zoo, Upgrade. Could just be basic animals. I mean, could upgrade sponsors to scare him. Yeah, actually, it'll let us play Native Lizards and Arcade in the same turn. Maybe, or maybe even Expert here. We don't really need the rep. It's a fair snap. Yeah, okay, that's actually good with his compound. Probably should have thought of that. So, we could play Agama first, and then... Then play these two. I totally remember all the posts that I've made <laughs> over the last year. One, is it just one going? The Cobra is staying for sure. Okay, now he has Science Lab coming, so what's he going to, he's going to take away the release for sure. Probably even use it on his Fox. This costs four plus two. So I believe for three X's we could play all of them. Do we need to spend X's though? Expert on the Americas is pretty good here. Four plus two plus three is nine, so we need eight, yes. Yeah, I, I, I actually, I got it. I got it. I got the joke. Breeding cop gets a bit closer to us. We can put the arcade next to one of these kiosks. Hmm. 
yeah, I think up here. Okay, that puts us in a really good spot. Now, now building becomes even more appealing because one pavilion gets us another income from arcade. Could build like kiosk over here, kiosk pavilion, pavilion over here. Kiosk pavilion one, we can still use the size one. Just get up to like 30 income, we can draw from the deck. Uh, he still can't play Breeding Cop for ages. Um, I should, my, my, maybe I should be interested in the bear for Polar Bear Exhibit, but it's only like marginal value. Chuck this next to water just in case. Alright, 30 income. We have some enclosures. It's still a, still a weird size 5 here. Not scared of seeing Ornithologist, although it's much better with Explorer. That might signal that he wants to build more. Uh, more than 5. Rhino's still just alive. Tiger's still alive, but... As good as it is... We have our, we have our future plans here, I think. Um, Eagle, Eagle still fits with Rhino just. Very expensive, but we have good income, so we just cause the break next move. Cause the break into playing Breeding Cop from range if it's still available. So, I mean, we're ahead on points, we're ahead on income. We're closer to Africa. He's got a release project right now, which we can leech off. We can play the turtle and leech off it. We could also just go for Africa 5. Flamingo looks very nice. Yeah, and we, we, we're ahead on upgrades as well. I right. Ooh. Okay, he's going like full spotted hyena. I'm surprised no breeding cop take there unless he's going to take it away now. That's like, that's really good for me. In fact, I could play it now and just do Europe too. Fair then, fair. Moose, Rhino, Deer. We'll just get our last upgrades. That Moose looking real good though. Um, oh yeah, we even have Species 5, so we could just build Size 4 right now, play Rhino. We're one short of Rhino Deer. Alright, okay, Species 5 gets us another Size 3, which we don't particularly need. But it helps us fill the map. Aviary is going like here, so size 3 could go here. Could also draw cards. Okay, Waz is special. 
goes small and draws a horse. Okay, that's that's nice. He's already played his petting zoos. And this is such a weird size five then. <laughs> such a true statement though. That moose is looking real good. <laughs> All right, give us species. Mm, not sure what we... Probably snapping is the answer. He took snapping. I didn't see what he snapped up, though. Uh, but the moose is completely dead for him. Okay, Boa actually doesn't hurt at all. I'm kind of surprised he's using it now. You know, like, surely the Tapir is better. Play Tapir, make the lizard cheaper. Ah, uh, he's going to dig away my moose. Don't do that. Don't dig away the moose. You bastard. Come on, dig away this, otherwise I'll snap it off. Vulture's okay for him. Hmm. Uh, giraffe's pretty good for us. We're getting a free size 3. We'll see what he plays. I would guess the lizard. Doesn't have Americas. But the macaw is good for him because of ornithologist as well. Might have to snap away research. Hmm. Is it that scary? Also, why am I tempted by taking 12 money and the cards and then just playing tortoise and selling everything? Probably just spend X's here. He hasn't left him enough money to play Boa, but still. Yeah, I don't think we need money. Just just snap away research. We're one short from the X's, which is a bit sad. We'll get this size three. Could clever okay, we can Oh, we don't need build. We we can just draw cards and get something better, and then break. So with the giraffe, we have five Africa. With the tortoise, we have four. He took Europe. That's such a weird size 5 now that he's played Wilds of Small. I don't know what he's going to put in it. So... He's not going to draw in the next move, so I can leave the Boa Constrictor there to disappear. That's very nice. That's dead. That's nice enough. Just uh, discard. Condor goes with the eagle. See, no, I don't think we're going for Europe 5, though. It's too far away. Ah, oh, that, okay, that's annoying. How did he somehow get enough money? He got... 
Oh, I forgot about the discount from small animals. Yeah, okay. What's well, annoying? Nothing scary in the display here. I mean, I'll just break three. I kind of do want to keep the eagle owl and the uh, tortoise for a good combo, sunbathing combo. If he causes the break, he probably snaps up giraffe, I would guess. He's ahead now. Um, one for sure. I'm not sure how we're getting this other science. We could just get the uni. I think we keep Cobra. It might just be Condor that goes and deer. I like this one too a lot. Eagle Owl sort of pressures him to do Europe too. Okay, uh, he actually has to snap up Bear here. Mm -mm. Still goes for it. Do I have to snap up Bear? Do I just snap up Raccoon? Oh wait, oh he gets two. Waste he leaves the bear. Interesting call. He just took raccoon plus giraffe. The giraffe take is pretty annoying. We can't fit bear eagle. We can play eagle, release it, and then play bear, but it's long distance. Yeah, I considered sponsorship primates before. But my income's fine right now, I think. Don't have to worry too much about income. Anyway, I think we just play Eagle Owl, Tortoise, uh, Threaten Europe too. Not sure what we do if he uh, takes Europe to... Oh, we can re release the, the Rhino if he takes Europe to. Native farm's dead. If we're releasing Rhino, then... Uh, both these look alright. But we probably just sell stuff anyway. Oh, this gets us the X tokens. Beautiful. I mean, Jaguar can go. Jaguar. We'll find something better. I think we keep this. We're kind of getting close to uh, getting all our points, though. Alright, he probably just does Species 3. Yeah, okay. So I think we release Rhino. What I'm thinking right now is release Rhino into size 2 enclosure bonus. Size 2 helps us fill map. Kind of means Africa's not happening. Maybe we just do Africa 4. 
because we have now the problem is we're running out of projects yeah I don't know what we're finishing on we have low mountain range for eagle release I guess we do Africa first then I can yeah okay I see it we'll keep our architectural obviously Build size five. Vet looking kind of nice. I'm glad that we know he doesn't have science museum. Ah, uh, he gets fed here. Damn. That last uni looking very good for him. So his end games are looking pretty nice at the moment. Nearly stuffed up there. What we need to do is leave room for a kiosk. So we hit expert on Americas. Uh, I think the, the ordering of this is messed up though. Because I need to release Rhino next. But it means... So that's a good grab. Plays Vet straight away for money. I think we can draw cards looking for another project. And another playable animal. Hmm. It's a real shame we're out of space here. PFAL fits, but it's not playable. Onus is, on, onus is on us to cause the break. So... Can I spend two X's to do a project before? Could just cause the break now. I could just ignore Eagle. Cause break now. Sequencing doesn't work. He's going to play Raccoon to boost up a source. You know, it's like Bear plus Koti, I guess we snap up. And we're doing two projects, which is probably release and release, and we finish with like a strong animals action, but the eagle's dead. 
that's too many. We can also build to fill map, which is quite a few points. Don't feel like we're gonna, Bison's definitely dead. Manga Bay can be played afterwards. We have plenty of money. I feel like we can always fit you, just can't get the science icon. And But if we find a release for the Bay of the Eagles, really good, so I feel like it's that. Could also say just stuff it and do. Oh, okay. Oh, that's five. Oh, we already did four Africa. Cody's just better for uh, polar bear exhibit then. Oh, Cody also gives us a, a kiosk for expert. Saves us like a tiny bit of money. Yeah, it's like bear, bear, release, Europe two. Could also grab last uni and potentially hypnosis. We could do that with one of the axes. Uh, with one of the times two. Last uni is unblockable and it lets us hypnosis. Tazzy Devil. You got a porcupine. And he plays it. So we know he's got breeding co op. I assume that's still in his hand. So that's Europe 5. I think the biggest issue right now is if he does two X's and I feel like he's just gonna play Breeding Cop and do Europe 5. But if he does two X's and gets rid of Rhino release, it kinda of screws us. He has max, so one, two, three, four. Want to see something next level? Sure. Break six. Why's a large? I mean, it makes sense. It's just a free enclosure. <laughs> and breeding? I don't think that's that weird, is it? Oh, we can potentially hypnosis animals. I guess we could still release a little bird as well. <laughs> so the X's really do nothing right now. And do we just want to grab the uni while we're here? And hypnosis.
We have to fill map next action. Fill map is a lot of points for us. Uh, could be Sun Bear. Does it end? Maybe. If it's Sun Bear and it ends, it's annoying. Sun Bear gives us points. Hypno to fill. Yeah, okay. Uh... No. Hip, uh, Bill's gonna be too high now. Damn. I mean, we still hypno into Europe too. Not a great finish. <laughs> How do we get an X token here? How do we play two animals? We can't play four either. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> Why are we one X token short? The, the, the main issue is we can't X out cards. We have to use the cards. I guess we could just pray for double animals with our cards action. <laughs> uh, lol. <laughs> Whatever. It's still a still a six appeal animal. Gonna draw one at a time just in case. Probably research zoo. Diverse, okay. GG. That's why we had friendly turned on. Hmm. Yeah, Science Lab Explorer. But good good start with our Triple Petting Zoo Expert in Small. I did like our start with Primates too. Just couldn't get that Africa 5. Like, not getting the breeding co-op there actually hurt. Oh yeah, plus Sun Bear. Hmm. I really messed up with the Eagle. I needed to do Eagle release, but I also needed to do Rhino release. But I couldn't do both in a in an order that makes that made sense. That's fine. We're we're chill today. We're in rank nine. It, it it's still very close like obviously if i win one game i'm like might go up to 7th and it's a any of these players in the top 20 could overtake me but a lot of them aren't playing at the moment darcel started playing a bit viewbank hasn't played in a in a quite a while anyway i'll just keep monitoring it there's still a day and a bit to go 
like still nearly 48 hours, 45 hours roughly. All right, we'll play some Azul. Just get number one. Yeah, sure. I'm not worried about anything. I'm chill. What's my ELO and Azul? Uh, about 680. Our opponent starts with three yellows. Don't know if I want a tile count. But there's not a whole lot of blue. I feel like we just take the white from them. I do go for column two a lot, but it feels right in this situation with, given there's so many black. Yeah, I'm very glad they fixed up Bunny Kingdom because I had a game two nights ago and we just literally could not finish the game. It was so frustrating. There were just so many error messages and it kept... Uh, the game kept crashing. That's a good idea. And it's been ages since Next Station London. That's a very good idea. Hmm... So the order of these, we want two black. Kind of, we don't really want our opponent to group up two white, but yeah, they should really just group up everything. There's still five things though, so we get three of them, which is actually uh, it's actually perfect for us. We get something for line two, something for line one. We're happy. Mm, let's take a red, make them discard two. Uh, perfect position, really, after this round. So they started with three yellow, but they managed to... They over-focused on, on their line, and they managed to stuff up their early lead. Now we get offered three yellow, but they really don't want it. We don't really want it either. There's a lot of blue for us. Blue is contested. Not a lot of red, it's not good to see. You know, yellow we could yellow we could group up and do anything with it. Um also don't mind grouping up a whole lot of black here. Kind of feel like okay. Okay. Now I feel like if we group up five black, we just get it for free. But I want to take two white first. It's it's a common theme you see, like people overvaluing, just focusing on one column. Um, yeah, I feel like we just get five black. We just. You take your three yellow, I'll discard a little bit, but I'll get five black for free and we can threaten black colour. Built-in tile counter would be nice. I could have grouped up all the yellow for him. He could have equally just taken black though. I think he made the right move, but probably put it on the wrong line. Um, I don't really mind blocking line 4 too much. We definitely don't want to discard these. Line 4, like, is fine. We are first player again. We need to start a move on on the reds. There's enough blue for us to grab. Just start on the column. I guess. Don't 
don't want to group up the white. Mm, I feel like we can't deny white forever, so we'll just kind of let him have it. No tall, let's see, taunt your opponent. The first player tall is kind of like a taunt. Like it's showing off that you're going first in the next round and they're not. What's this guy doing for line two? We're not really sure. We'll take away his line two. Grabs three white. Grabs one white. Mm, probably don't want to do this trade. I think we just take our reds. Because red is okay for him if he takes it. Yeah, we just discard this. But do you, these are clearly white tiles. What are, what else would they be? Okay. Oh, there. There's a lot of holes in his line too. Our line, our line one and two are chilling. Unlikely we get second column because we know a lot of black was discarded earlier. Window teal windows. I don't know what to tell you, this is very clearly white. We'll take first play going to the last round. We'll take the... Blue. Grouping up reds, we don't mind. We'll, we'll take our two. Uh, it's very greedy to take three. I don't think he wants them either. We'll take our two. We might get three. We might even get four. Is that better? <laughs> Do we really want to be grabbing? It doesn't hurt us, actually. It's, it's pretty good for him. Yeah, this is a clear white deny, which we just discard. If he goes for two black on line five, we just make him discard three. We'll just make sure we have a clear board for the last round. Yeah, we could potentially go for red color. Um, it'll be hard though. There, there's six of them max left, but probably less. We do actually get it if we want it. Have to do this first though. Can't let him get two columns and lose our row two. Fair enough. All the way up to 717th with that win. I do a lot of that taunting, taking what the opponent needs. Oh, they said GG. GG. Okay, and let's... Where is... Where is the London? Wait, where is London? Oh, down... All the way down there? Yeah, that Bunny Kingdom game the other day with all the error messages was awful. Like, literally spent half an hour just trying to refresh the page so I didn't get kicked out every turn. Mm, probably too big. I feel like we can just abbreviate it. Oh, 
All right, maybe the worst possible start we can have. A square start on green means we have to go in this region as our most populous, which we don't like. Goals, we're pretty much ignoring the 13 different But now I feel like we just, something like this, just get six different tiles up here. Very funny shapes going on. With this power, we ideally want to wait until we get a switch and then we can use it twice. <laughs> no for sale today, probably not. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It would be it would be funny to play it again, wouldn't it? It would be very funny. Circle goes down here. We're still kind of happy. Mm. Wild goes on triangle. Leaves us with nothing to do with another triangle, though. We already don't really have much to do. I guess another triangle we could go one, two. Oh, okay, there's the switch that we wanted. Okay, that's perfect. So what can we do with a switch? We can go pentagon, pentagon, two different regions. Seems like the best option. Could also, oh, we could do the same circle, circle, but I think this is better. I have no intentions of going for all 13. Yeah, what did they end up doing? Yeah, this wild is kind of dead for the Oh, this is a switch. So they probably just go up here. Looks like they are going for 13. They're going to have a tough time doing that. Circle start on blues. Okay, we'll just go along here. Really just don't want a pentagon. Double circle. It's not even as painful for them. This is a pretty horrendous start, though. I feel like because we have the switch, we don't pass. But we're not happy. That's why, that's why we don't pass. I have played railroading, but I don't enjoy it that much. It's, it's all, the, all the different shapes that I can't see. So we've just wasted a station here. We'll just cross the river a little bit. Pentagon crosses back. Square, we have a new region here. We still have a Pentagon coming out, which we can leave for that. We could make the long trek across here, which kind of screws over pink line, but I don't mind it that much. I like to play greedy. So pink we know is the wild power, which gives us some flexibility. This lets us get to the question mark now with our next thing. Our pentagon still goes here. Square just into the wild. Purple triangle's nice. I don't think we can go down with square here because it just is nowhere to go. It's too restrictive. If we're going here, we could really be screwed by a triangle or something next. I think we have to. Circle next is okay. Good even. Still don't want to see triangle next. Okay, with a switch we don't mind so much. Switch we could go triangle up here. Switch we could go square down here. That gives us option for a circle. Could go pentagon, which gives us option for a 
circle and a square seems fine. And even a triangle, okay, that, that's clearly the answer. While we just go square. Yeah, this last line is going to be tough. Not sure where we're going. This is nice though. Square we want here, pentagon we want here, so we finish our goal. That's those two. So a circle goes down here. We were hoping that, no, wait, no, we did want pentagon. Well, we can't use another pentagon though. It does let us cross the river. Yeah, this one's a dead one. Can't really afford to be wasting tiles against, uh, connections against elite players. All right, that's the goal. How are they looking? They have blue left. Circles, okay. Not sure where we're putting this line. I feel like it could still be this this region. Let's go like square here. Oh, are they actually? Hmm. Triangle's very nice. Guess there's a lot of points there. Pentagon's not great. I feel like we have to use our wild now. We can go square up here. That gives us option for the another pentagon if we see it. Punish though, have to pass. They're kind of in a bit of a pickle. They want to get down here, but it's not... Mm, they can. Okay, they actually do get the last goal. Triangle here is good for us. That is the end, so what gets the most points? Just probably new region. Yeah, must be this. Kind of bailed out on the pink line. Got got some pretty favourable draws there. GG. But yeah, main thing is we tried not to waste any lines with our multiplier. And it looks very funny. Yeah, we didn't get baited by the 13 goals, so even though they hit it, They just had much less points from interchanges, so it basically like evens itself out. Alright, not a bad start to the day. <laughs> Everyone wants to see for sale. <laughs> Did I unfavorite it? Where to go? Did I unfavorite it? No, it's right there. Hey, Alex. What are the odds that we uh, lose four games in a row, though? I mean, I'll take anything that's not fifth as a win. It can't keep being this bad. Today we break the streak. Who who are our potential opponents? All right, this this person plays a hell of a lot of for sale. I I have seen them when I used to play like two years ago. They they love this game. Yeah, nearly fifteen thousand games played. 
that may that may just be a BGA. I, I have not seen a game with a higher play count, honestly. That actually shocks me. I didn't think it was that high. Has anyone seen higher than 14,997? That is truly insane. Yeah, so see now everyone's scared scared to jump in because they know I'm gonna break the I'm gonna break my losing streak. I have I have mad respect for this. Fifteen thousand games. That is someone with a true passion for for sale. Like honestly, no judgment. Yeah, we see you there. Mm, where's games played? Where's for sale? I am blind today. Only five games? What's going on? Why not 15,000? Says we're looking for one. Are we in, are we in another table right now? It sounds like priority, your priorities are in the wrong order. Like, four sale goes above work, kids, and sleep. Probably goes order, like, four sale, sleep, kids, work. Maybe kids should be one higher. Not sure. Mm. I know there was a cheating scandal going on. I'm not sure if it's still the case. Like, I think this person's legit. It's just last the last few seasons have been ruined by cheaters. This person looks pretty... How are they first with 200 rating? Thir 13,000. We have a contender. I do like Welcome To. Uh, wife is... Wife is an independent woman, so probably like for sale, kids, sleep, work, wife. Wife can look after herself. Top arena for Seven Wonders Jewel is cheating. No. Oh, Bob is in. Mm. Doesn't immediately look sauce. Oh, they're not number one, the cheetah. Chancy. How's your Everdell journey going, Nikki? Come on, we need... No, the 15,000 game guy is gone. Damn it. I was looking forward to that. How that would be such an honor to play like in his fifteen thousandth game though.
getting very close, Bob. Keep at it. Honestly, at your current rate, you probably get there in the next year or two. All right, we're in. We're in. Come on, Bob, we're in. Okay, we are in. I'm seeing a lot of rating to, that we can take here. I think being... Oh, this is a pretty shocking round, actually. I'm, I'm actually... Yeah, okay, instant pass. Do we get rewarded here? You instant pass as well. No, I see this going like 2, 3, 4, me pass. I don't think we're bidding 5 for this. If this is a pass as well, it makes it interesting. Yeah, I think first bid is very awkward for this round. I'm, I'm glad we're not going first bid. I'm kind of happy to be in this spot. We got Bob right in front of us. Four. Ooh. If this is pass, pass, I'm going to be hella happy. Don't do it. Actually, you know what? Even if this is five, I still think I'm going to be happy. If it's five, it means the person in front of me has spent the most money. That's not bad either. We're not outbidding that. We'll pass. Sorry. Okay. We're not. We're not in the worst position. Blue's in the worst. Red might be. Uh, red slightly worse. We're we're better than red and blue. This is a shocking round though. Oh, this is a. Ooh, is this a four to start? Two. Then do we go up to four? I could see it being four five. The problem is if it goes to six, it's just really really bad. I think four is safe enough. No, 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 Michael. Do not do not learn from this. The last three games on stream have been horrendous. Like straight loss, loss, loss from rank top 10 to rank out of 100. This person already bid. They might... They might just want to pass. You... Are you serious right now? At least we've only spent two. We should be getting a nine out of this. It's still a really bad exchange. But I think five and six is too much. There's still lots of good cards coming. The problem is there might only be good cards coming, which means we might want to spend more early. We can't outbid this, so it's it's too early. We need to get good cards with our last four. Pretty much can't afford to take any more bad cards. This round, we cannot get last. Unfortunately, we're in a really bad position to achieve that goal. Well, I have been... <laughs> a good solution. I have been rank one, but not for a long time. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Blow them out of the water. See, I think they've read the situation that Olback sort of has to bid big on this as well. Oh no, that's terrible. Six is so high. But if this... Oh... Bidding eight here is... <sighs> this puts blue in such a good position, though. Do we bid eight to get a 27? It's so high. And... I feel like I can't take a six and, and all the low numbers are gone, so I'm just going to do it. 
There's no way we can outbid. Yellow. Okay, the thing is, yellow is uh, orange is broke. Yeah, I mean, I orange is spending so much. This round, orange has to pass first. I don't think it matters particularly what we bid first. We're probably getting a twelve. Pass. We might we might get a thirteen. I, I'm not sure Bob bids on this. Uh, we just get screwed in the next round. I mean, we should all be working together to screw Orange because they they were so greedy early. Uh, I don't actually mind seeing a 6 bid here, actually, do I? I'll pass to take a 12. Blue might even... Surely not. Oh, yes, okay, we like seeing that. <laughs> um... If you really want to get your rating back up, I would advocate making multiple accounts. But we don't play like that. Okay, we're not getting last here. I'm not even sure we're getting second last here. I think we're at least getting a 20 for free. Unless this is some stupid first bit. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's good. This is pass, 5, pass, we get 20. Ah, uh, that screws us in the last round. Is our hand good enough? It depends what the last round is. I haven't been tracking, but I know the one's gone at least. Hmm, keep it low. No, nah, we can't keep it low enough. Well, 16 is not the worst. Uh, how, how good are we feeling? Not very. Pass, pass. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Theoretically, it's a kind of average hand. This is a horrendous round. I feel like being greedy here can pay off. And we exchange our 20 and we get uh, 11 or 10. The goal is to avoid the zeros and twos. I feel like a 20... I mean, if this if this fails, we're just dead. Oh, we sniped it. Yes. Good start. Good start. I'm feeling... Don't want to be... I'm feeling 27. Don't, just can't be the lowest here. I feel like 16 will be the lowest. Just spend your, spend your big cards early. That I've been too scared to play big cards early, but th that's, that's how you beat the meta. So I feel like just don't get last here. Yeah, there we go. That was the right move. We've seen two of the twos and a zero go. This one, I think people bid pretty high. Honestly, though. No, 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 no. Crap, 16 was the right move. This one, though, this one, 16, can get us a really high card. People still have ones and twos and things. This is when they're going to use ones and twos.
still got a 10. We're at 38 with two rounds to go. This is the nine for sure. I think. Oh, the, the score is live. We have bad cards though. Oh, that was the 12. We're not going to be lowest. Three, 46. Okay, we did it. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. That person killed it. But like one different, if we just played the 16 on that round. <laughs> we, we are improving. So on this trajectory, we're going to get fourth for the next two games, and then we can start moving up to thirds. I think we just abandon till till the next arena season. Thank you all. I'm everyone's so proud of me. I'm very I'm very thankful. We did it. Also, I think it's been a while for challenges. Mm, we have a Bunny Kingdom opponent. The One King of Catan. Ooh. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I had a great start with that twenty, but I, my cards were just not good again. You're right, for sale can definitely... We don't need to look at it. We don't need to look at it. Don't need to dwell on it, it's gone. What a fall from grace though. That's the thing, right? I, I don't know how I can play the auction phase better, the buying phase. Because you have very, like, linear decisions. You either bid too much or you pass. I feel like it depends a lot on the players in front of you. The main skill is the selling phase. And I nearly had it. Like, one difference in the selling phase, it's an easy second. If I play the 16 earlier and grab a high amount, just a game of chicken. Wouldn't mind playing Glow, but I really hate Glow Arena. Glow Arena settings are the worst. Random adventurers. I don't know if I can stomach that. When I bid the eight. Yeah. Oh, when I bid eight on the 27. But the thing is, if I passed, I'm just get, getting three low numbers. And I was sort of tracking that a lot of the, the low numbers were gone already. So I wasn't exactly tracking. So there's a few regions at the top here. Nothing exciting. Provisions it is. I, I like the parchment. Don't think we need to commit to any region yet. This is a decent parchment for having cities.
No, uh, no towers or luxury resources to start, but it's okay. We might get him from provisions. I had a great provisions earlier today. Two luxury resources. The one king of Catan, really. That's definitely a lie. They're pretty good at Bunny Kingdom, though. How is this opponent that's not here? Two hundred. Uh, this season, I believe, five games. Ooh, I'm happy with that start. Those are very synergistic parchments. We just want cities. Towers. Alright, we're passing to red, so they're nearly guaranteed to take, like, one... I think there were these two. There was stuff around here. But then I think we don't want to give them A6. They're, I don't mind D-drafting because there's really not a lot here that's great. I don't even want to take a 1. Just take like this city tile in the corner. Yeah, okay, it was those two, yeah. So I'm glad we took that away at least. Wow, this is a really dud opening hand. We'll get these that are connected, and I think we take the Caratistador. We might get a Sky Tower back, we might just get random regions back. Yeah, these hands are awful. What did they even take? Two Tower and Luxury Resource. So, red starting hand, there was just nothing. Yeah, this is red starting hand. Hmm. Kind of surprised that they blind took that out of it. Yeah, it looks like it should be a fairly low scoring game because no one's getting these. No one's getting like major regions up early. There's still B6. Uh, we're getting B6 back, aren't we? Unless yellow takes it right now. But B6 could be very nice. Actually, why did red not take B6? That's odd. C6 is next to it, but it's not connected. It could be in the future. It's kind of speculative. We could just take this for some guaranteed points. It's basically always better than the Scepter because we place the city down now and it generates us minimum, minimum four points, but most likely more. Here, just another whole pile of nothing. We don't, we don't really need the fish. Could just take one, two. Make like a region of four. Might just be better to take H10 for the wood production. Yeah, I don't know. These things do nothing. I'll take away one of them. Don't mind putting a castle down here for a point. Maybe it's a bit greedy. We don't need to spend our wood here though, so we're going to connect to wood here. I'm coming for you, Bob. 
I don't, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere near. I might, might get top 20. I'll have to play it quite a bit tomorrow. Ooh, hello. Ooh. There's a lot of good stuff here for us. A lot of this should be uncontested. But there's not a lot in this hand. But two castles generally strong for everyone. I don't know what's a bigger priority. This tower? It connects to nothing. The carrots? They both have sky towers. There's very few sky there's only like one sky tower left, I think. Or do we just try to get all of these back? Maybe we just care about this region the most. Okay, red's got a nice thing going on over there. These territories are useless, so... Bureaucrat, very good for our parchments. Probably looking at the camp as well. Hmm. Actually, I don't, I think I've been too low on Master Carpenter. It's actually like minimum four points right now. Min minimum five points right now. Gonna it's gonna be a lot more at the end of the game compared to like a camp, which we might get back. Okay, these people are not respecting mountain regions enough. This could also be important carrots for us. We, we might get single wood back. I feel like carrots, we can link up because there's a potential we get one and two back next hand. Yeah, I think it's worth... Oh, red, why? Oh, it's not all bad, we actually get one, two. Little Prince is trash. This is another Caratistador uh, region. Plus just generate some points. If we ever get a Sky Tower, it'd be nice, but it looks unlikely to link all these up. Yeah, awkward now. Do we start working on this as the main region? Hmm. <laughs> Bon, she is trash. We just take wood, wood. Also, edge of the map, also corner. Can be useful for diplomat and explorer parchments later. We're incentivized to take parchments. We're incentivized to take the wood. It kind of blocks yellow a little bit, but it's just good for us as well. We even get the wood back, amazingly. I don't know how that did not get taken. Okay, we actually might connect up here. We need to prioritize these two. But I think we can work on... This is our main region. Mm. I think Bungie definitely worse. Little Prince can still get a point or two. Bungie is very rare to get points. Little Prince can bait you into doing, like, really bad things, though. Actually, L Little Prince and Caratistador is maybe not the worst combo. So, two Luxuries gone. Uh, three Castles also gone. We can throw down a little two Hex here. Means placing a wood here is worth three points now. I think it's worth doing. Even though we're likely to connect it up. 
I'll take three points now. Yeah, okay. Yellow's got a nice setup going, actually. Plus 16. This hand looks much better. There's a lot here. Now, it's so stacked we might get provisions back, but I think we just have to go 2-2. Two, two. The two towers are far too strong. Red, like, really happy with this, though. I just I have no use for these regions. What I really wish I had was a sky tower right about now. We are passing to red. That's not linked. Um, there is the explorer. Also explorer plus A1. A1 we should always get back. Might just be double parchment. Leaving the five crown in the hopes that we get 12 for matriarch. Mm, I don't really want to get into a territory fight. Yeah, crown, crown is safer. This is not the starting hand, so somehow no one took d5 from us. That's nice. These hands are just not very good. They might leave me the matriarch, maybe. We're not getting fish from anywhere. No one's really going for Fisher King. Just take the connected tower. Towers are very good for us. Okay, that's the fish we want. Have to take that. Can uh, doesn't Red still has a sky tower? Don't they? Yeah, we can't block red from carrots. Not worth doing. Opportunist. I don't, I'm not sure we're going to be in a position to be second. I think we just take the mountain region. Alright, the fish here gets us at least three resources. We can put down two towers. Matriarch does come back. We are currently leading, so let's take it. Plus A1, our wood production in the corner. So our parchment's looking pretty good. That gives us... Uh, no, we already had Karachist at all there. Two regions back is nice for Matriarch. Leading by one, although yellow has a camp, so we're tied. We're just, they're getting all these luxury resources. I just really didn't want to leave C2 for, uh, for red. Hmm. Um, spice is still available. Pearls are gone though, so we can cover the fish, no problem. Oh, plus 30. We're on plus 24 now. Yellow's 32. 
Red's 33. No luck tree again. It's like we're not finishing with any. We're passing to yellow. Hmm. Not sure what is best for us here, actually. It's all pretty bad. My thinking is corner's only plus three. I don't think... Well, red does want it really badly. They need to put their pearls down. Red is going to take it. Nothing is good points. The mountain doesn't matter. We just have nothing to put down on mountains. But we do need more towers, and this kind of blocks yellow as well. It's like, it's, it's only giving Explorer, though. We don't have any fishing... Yeah, plus helping Matriarch. One, two. Master of the Mountains is pretty good. Fishing also pretty good. Carrot King also good. Kind of surprised Red didn't take it. Carrot King we haven't hit though. Master of Mountains is a pretty safe 8 points, yeah, 9 points minimum. Need to get ahead of red now in... Mm, I don't know if there are enough forest spots left to go for this, but we should always get this back. No one's going to take it from us. Each different fief is worth quite a bit. Camp might just help us hit the Woodland King. We might just have to go for Woodland King. We just need the points from it. Uh, but fief is good for everyone. So actually, I think I take that first. One tower is literally only three points. Camp and different fief. Um, carrot, carrot, mountain. There's enough carrot rewards coming up that we should just take it away from red, I think. Probably also mountain, because we need to lock up the matriarch. And red's going to... Red's going to be past two more territories. Could potentially get a Caratista door down here as well. Another f uh, four points, three points. Oh, it's at least three territories. All right, that, okay, that's a clear pick. like just territory here. Yeah, it is four points for a territory of three. Um, yeah, we just take the territory to get Matriarch. We're still not guaranteed Matriarch. Where's Red? Red has a camp as well, so we're like tied. Could be greedy going for this fishing. Well, it looks like we actually haven't beat. Oh, we get Woodlink. Oh, damn it. Alright, so what's the ideal camp spot then? Wood is still plus three. All the carrot things disappeared and no doubt passed to red.
J6 is good. Uh, a wood is just better than mountain. I don't know if it matters which wood. Red used their camp. Should really just be a different thief to maximize. What's it called? I think D10 is as good as we can get. And this just goes on whatever. Mm. I don't think it's enough. They have they have hella parchments down here. They just have they're basically going with like a thirty point lead. Our parchments are okay. We did just hit nine cities. If we had a 7th wood, maybe. Pan, pan, so good. At least they couldn't use that. So that block actually was really nice. Still feel like even these parchments just beat out ours. Fisher. Yeah, yellow hit Fisher King. I think we're just a, a third here. Gloves, Treasure Hunter. 50 point deficit. Ugh. Well, pretty unfair. Like, we saw zero luxury resources for the game, which killed our multiplier. We had, we had perfect space for them. We just could not draw them in our opening hands. One eighty nine still like respectable given we only had thirty from thieves. Oh hang on. Second by three points. I thought they had enough. I guess we did get 118 from parchments. That is more than I expected. Opportunist. I guess first place had opportunists, so we were almost never a chance to get them. I'll take it. It's much better than a fourth. Much better than a fourth. Very close. True, yeah, where was that one wood? I probably passed it up. Uh, simple game. So, do you want to play Veil again? You can search for that. Uh, I think the settings are right. Search for like Vale and Stella. I expect we'll find Vale first. Most likely. Oh, oh, sorry, hang on, Vale. We actually might be getting a match up here. Not often we find two instant stellar players. Dog. Dog lover? Are you suggesting dog lover? That could be a possibility as well. We still have time. I'm not sure we're going to go the full four hours today because of daylight saving time. I probably should have started an hour earlier. But I'm kind of cooked already.
on. Don't don't let me down stellar people. I think that's a good next few games. Well, I want to wait for Stella because Bob's here. Fail have been playing some turn based games. Still haven't managed to finish in seven rounds yet, but I had a couple of eight round games. <laughs> oh what's happening all right we're in feeling good about this News. Can we zoom in a bit? Yeah. News. News. What the heck? News. That's an odd word. What on earth is news out of these? I feel like she's just chilling on her couch watching the news. I honestly don't know. What the hell is news? I feel like this kid's putting his hand up like he has news to share. I don't think we're picking too many here. Okay, I like that justification. Yeah, he's like ready to go to war. Needs to hear about what's happening. Well, maybe it's just that. We'll start with four. I think... Okay, four was the right amount. We, we are first. I'm gonna go with coffee lady, because that, that was my first thought. Tea lady. She's, she's watching the news. <laughs> Guess not. Maybe we really should have gone with that one. I don't, it's not going to be a great round for anyone. You're like, you're right on the money here. Oh no. Yeah, I, I don't really see that one. That's a fall. Oh, Bob. <laughs> So three, th oh my god. 5-3-5-0. You know, this is going to make a better comeback story. <sighs> really should have opened with that one. Just please don't match here. <laughs> you know what? That's exactly what I'm thinking right now. Okay, they both fall. All right, it's 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 recoverable. We can come back from a seven point deficit. It just takes one good round.
Just one good round. Word better than news, please. Maya. Like the South American civilization. Which I know very little about, apart from the fact they had a calendar. But I guess like with all like the architecture, like I don't know if it's the Aztec, but like lots of steps in the mountains. I feel like that would go with it. Yeah, really what a start for prompts. Amazing. Maybe the fact that they're a civilization. I know this is a very futuristic looking city, but also going to go with a war. Mm, pretty sure they did not sail. Didn't, definitely didn't go to space. Maybe like mystical. Not volcano. Could just be these. I don't know that... I really don't know my history that well to know if there were volcanoes or not. Ancient and... yeah, everyone gets wrecked by volcanoes, but I don't think it's related to the Mayans. Could just go safe and go four again. I don't really see anything else. Hmm. Yeah, it's a tough start. Everyone's going on four. At least we're not in the dark. And we're going to get a lot of matches. I feel like the steps is the most obvious one. All right, we'll t we'll take him. Okay, we're on the board. Everyone's on the board. Would not have picked that one. Might have to investigate for some collusion going on here. Alright, we're happy with that though. I, how has no one picked the steps? I feel like this is the most obvious, but now I'm scared it's not going to be a match. <laughs> what is going on? Just please. I mean, I considered it. Guarantee this one's picked. No, they didn't sail. I mean, we still got two before we fell, so it's not like... We only fell a little bit behind. Yeah, okay, this is not a match either. But wow, no one picked war either? Alright, we can do it. We're gonna have to pick a lot though. Halloween and like the, the obvious Halloween one is gone. I guess that's not that bad. This is spooky as hell. These are literal ghosts. Halloween. It's a sellout holiday. Commercialism. I think I just put a lot of the American audience offside there. I 
feel like kind of mysterious as well. I don't know. Halloween's... No one ever picks the war one. See, I've, I've lost like all confidence to pick cards right now. I don't know what I'm ma what I'm picking that's going to match. Like I feel it's those two, but I feel like it's it's not going to match. Maybe we go with like the kids trick or treating angle and just kids. Actually, that's cookies, cookies and Halloween trick or treat. Maybe get rid of that one. We need to pick more than four though. Do we? Kind of do. I don't see it. I think we're going... I'm going with the mouse. There's also, like, soda in the, the, the mouse as well. Alright, we're not in the dark, so it was the right move. Like, soft drink, soda, sugary treats, Halloween... Okay, spooky, yes. Though I'm not sure how the ghost one isn't first. That's guaranteed to be next. But please leave it for me. That's the only one I'm super conf- Oh, okay, I'm confident. Only me and Bob saw the cookies. These are ghosts. You can't knock, not pick this. They're ghosts. Yeah, that's right. Okay, the kid angle worked. This is a good round. Now I'll just match with this. I'll match with one person and everyone else fall. Okay, that, that's a fall. No one's picking that. I nearly picked it, but no one else will. Mm. Come on. Come on, commercialism. Okay, we are, blue's, okay, blue is one, let's just go for second or third. America. How offensive do we want to get here? I mean, I think we have to pick a lot. Not America, not America might be America. Mm. War definitely America. This one's more like medieval... Britain. This one totally could be. There's no Americans here though. This one could be evil. That one could be as well. Crime. Definitely Volcano. Hmm. 
No. Volcano's not. Oh, Hawaii. Oh, I don't know. We we have too many. I don't know about this. Okay, we don't have too many. Reasonable first choice. Ooh, Super Spark, hello. God, I don't know what second though. I feel like this, just like a 1950s housewife or something. I don't know if it's worth second pick though. There's there's so many picks, someone has to have picked it. What the heck? I've nearly died twice. I mean, these super sparks are good though. Currently like four points behind. This is another match. Everyone picked that. Okay, we're on a roll. Just super spark me here. Ooh. I'm really trusting you guys with this volcano pick. We, we need, like, we need falls here. Ah, <laughs> oh, I crossed that one out because I had too many. Dude, like, the cookies, balloons... This is America. We're close. We're not quite there. If we match the last two, I think we do overtake Bob, though. Another match for Blake. It's not good for us. Everyone got it as well. We're no chance of catching blue. Unless... No. I mean, if this is a fall here, do we actually... Oh, no. Alright, our only chance is catching Bob. It was the volcano. I don't think it's enough. <laughs> Have I? No, I played a random arena opponent last week, as well as Yeti. Oh, wow. It's actually really close in the end. That was such a horrendous start for us. Volcano definitely paid off. If I just kept my nerve and picked that as well, we're tied for second. I mean, if we had a, if we'd had a better start than the horrendous round one and two, <laughs> good job on the volcano, everyone. Excellent job on the volcano. Yeah, really not a good first two prompts. I mean, I, 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 I struggled there for sure. I thought I picked obvious ones, though. Just no one had the same idea. Alright, we can search for... Ooh, hello. You're a high-ranked dog lover player. 
probably don't like the settings that I've picked though, that I have by default. Sorry, Bob, but I'm glad you took the bullet for us. I couldn't deal with an an another last place today. I do want to play you, but if you're not here, I'm not going to wait. Also, no lag today. Very nice. That's the only complaint I have about Stellar. Some of the some of the prompts on BGA are really awful. I think the worst is Corsica. That's just a terrible prompt. Now we find Vale. We are first pick. Recover one of your cards with a written cost of two or less. Don't mind. Or one of your instant effect cards. Yeah, still don't mind. Whenever you summon a card, use one for each red thing you used. I don't mind Phoenix. I think Hippogriff is definitely going to be picked by them. I think Phoenix, but we get one of these to go with it. Might be a bit slow. The effect could give us a lot of points though. Hippogriff's not that good, is it? Seems a bit underwhelming. That's what I mean. We get four of these to start. Like, we tame you, we sell you. We don't need to summon you. Hippogriff with Boreas. Yeah, I don't know what Boreas does. They tame that one, okay. I need to keep an eye out for that. I don't know why that would play it right now, though. That's just a mistake. No reason to play it. Uh, this looks pretty horrendous. I think that was a clear first pick. But Basilisk looks okay. Actually, looks really nice, actually. Whenever you summon a card using a 6. They can have this one for free. I don't think we need that. It just seems like a space killer. Cost 4 pink card. You earn X with X number of pink on board. Yeah, so it's like a pink spammer. Anyway, I don't, they don't have any combo going. We got a little combo. Play you. We'll play the Basilisk. We'll get rid of you. We get three instant points. We can trade in for big gems. We could also just trade in for a little one gem. I think it's worth getting a six though. Alright, we've got to take away at least eight. They sold the pink though, right? They don't have the pink anymore. But I feel like drawing cards could be very good. Exchange each of your stones with a six. Yeah. If you have less than six cards, earn two. I think it's just draw a card, recover. Could definitely see myself spamming that. We have a gem generator here, so... If we get access to more cars, we'll be able to find something useful. Fine with this, we can... This is only two points around. I think we just sell it and... 
build the three. And two for each. Okay, that could be a decent point bomb. And two for each card family in your area, instant effect. Should really try to remember what they have in their hand, but I don't. Alright, they're just spamming that. That's fine. Recover. It's another six overkill. Maybe we just need a three to summon the dandelion spirit. Ah, oh, there's Boreas. Earn one for each pink card in your area. Immediately, immediately recover. Oh yeah. Salamander is a good combo for us though. They leave both. We can play both. Um. We have so much gem generation with this, actually. But this, like, gives us four points every round, kind of. Yeah, I mean, we can sell Boreas. It's fine. Balog? The hell's a Balog? Earn 8 instant, they discard a green. We could also use it to discard a green. Yeah, we don't really have pink going, so we can sell you, play you for 2. Uh, do we need to play you immediately? We could just play the 8 instant points immediately. I feel like it's kind of better. Oh, we have to discard the green. Okay, we don't want to use it just yet. We'll just play the salamander. We can end there. We won't lose points. We'll just discard a few gems. So we, we have a lot of gem generation right now. Okay, I really like this for a point bomb. Earn one for each card with an hourglass effect. It's pretty good for them. It's kind of slow though. I feel like the point bomb, we have the generation to fund it. Snail Maiden is, is a really good combo with uh, Basilisk, but... Don't know that we need it. I feel like we just want this the most. Gust into Leviathan. Oh yeah, Leviathan. You know, that's actually nice. Well, we do get it. We could do it right now. Oh yeah, so I think it's worth... Keeping both these. Uh, Gus does get rid of this, which might actually, it might actually be time. Leviathan's not getting played this round though, which is fine. Like, we have the Horn Salamander to give us uh, gems. Yeah, we can pay like that and even play Dandelion Spirit again. I guess we should play Dandelion Spirit first, but too late.
earn three for each card found in your area. Basilisk is gone. Don't worry about it, Andrew. Mm. Just very slowly getting points. What we need is uh, like a six discard like this now. Keeping extra... Uh, so slow. <laughs> Yeah, we really wanted that. I mean, six points is fine. Earn seven, discard. It's like it's always that. Discard one of your... That's actually pretty sick, isn't it? Can't play both of these yet. Unless we're just ignoring. They're summoning a lot, but they're not getting points for it. They have Snail Maiden. Yeah, okay, they, they carry a lot of gems now. Oh, it's fine. I don't, I don't see all the combos yet, but in terms of position for this game, it's not going to be a quick eight round game. Almost certainly not. Yeah, I'm thinking we just need the gems. We're, we're playing Burning Skull here for sure. Like this is first tame in play. Seems like a cell. Not sure what else we're playing. Well, yeah, we can play Leviathan straight away. We do want to play something to make room for all the gems that we have coming in. It actually works out pretty well. Get rid of our dark card. And turn then we can discard this for a three and get four new ones. That's a very good memory. Earn two recover. Okay, I literally do not need more. I do need... I just need this six gem. Just to play these big guys. So, like, I think I have to take this. This is whatever. Yeah, the others don't do crap. So this guy's really useless right now because we only have red. Same, we like we don't have different families. I feel like it's also too late to be doing card draw, like we have cards. This is instant just just four points plus we're spending four. Maybe we just are playing Salamander. Just as a card to play that is better for these. Six plus four. Uh, oh, we can actually play this. Okay. This actually works out fine. I 
I think my main concern is playing uh, Jiren, which is how I'm, which is how I'm going to end the game next round. So I'm pretty sure I can just discard the next two guys I get and end the game. Like Salamander into Burning Skull is plus four. Horn Salamander gives me some uh, ammo for next round. Yeah, we want a six gem, but we could also... I guess we really do need a six gem, huh? Also, Surtur is a uh, few points. They're on 14. So I don't know how they're uh, how they're catching us, even if we don't finish super quickly. No sixes. Kind of surprised. Uh, we can play this for plus four. Then tame this and get six. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm just taking both these away. I think we actually play this. It's just a net positive. They have so much money, I don't know how they're going to get points quick. Definitely not like that. Play Water Giant instead. Dandelion into Suto. This is plus four. So my plan was going Triton into Suto. I guess Dandelion into Suto is just better. But the point of going Triton into Suto was that I would have enough. No, not even into Suto. Just just for the just for the water gems. Okay, I think this can work though. I was thinking Triton just to tame this guy and get the six instantly. If cars were the written one, two, three, four, we have that. D did I just win the game off that? I guess it doesn't matter, sell or tame. Did we just win the game off that lucky draw? Good call, uh, Dandelion Spirit. Good, very good call. <laughs> Eight round win. I mean, it was going to be a win. We're, f we're 30 points up. I don't see how they could ever catch up that many points in a round. But it's just a turn earlier than expected. Plus 33, I'm coming. <laughs> Huge win. Whoa, another quick dog lover. It's the same person. They're here though. All right. They were waiting all that time to play us, but now we're here. Um, oh, I'm really not happy about this, though. I really hate giving up Tour Guide. It's so good. 
I feel like we just start with a training card and adoption and landlord. I really hate giving up tour guide. I also hate not starting with the fetch ball. Um, they probably just even take tour guide. Makes sense. But now we get the fetch ball. Yeah, they're thinking about it. I will... I don't understand what's up with the lead there. There is no way I'm letting you have that. Like, this middle row is mine. Tour guide doesn't matter. Tour guide, discard a walk card, who cares? It's alright, this is, this is not arena dog lover. This is a high rated player though. But yeah, getting rid of tour guide is huge, I'm really happy about that. And we have the fetch ball, we can use it to get a training card. Get heal, heal is what we're aiming for. Really nothing here yet though. Ah, uh, no, adoption cards are really good for us. We just take the middle. Discard two training cards. No, can't do that. Just take the food. Really want one training card, come on. Really don't want to be revealing dogs on their turn. Bottom row looks really good, middle row looks really good. Okay, there's our training card, all right, hello. Heal in two. We can adopt a medium dog? Yes, we can. Tuck a ball, one VP per, two VP per small dog. Tucking a ball probably just safer. Uh, but food actually does matter. We have a dry bits. We, we don't want more scrap requirements. Ah, uh, you're a small dog. Wait. Oh, These aren't medium dogs. Okay, it's fine. We just lose Teacher's Pet. We don't need to use the adoption cards at all. That's fine. They have all dog slots open. Dirt monster could be okay for us to grab. Plus the wild food and scraps. Looks like up here is good. Plus a bone for dirt monster. Really good. Okay, all dogs fed. We just keep the adoption. There's nothing amazing here. We can adopt at any time in case we get a trait that shows up. Okay, and they can't take these dogs. It's a very good feeling. I'm feeling very good about this game. This is Taco is okay, Taco is free. Plus another adoption. Ooh. This looking real good. They have a they have a lot of dogs. 
I have a lot of hidden points here. We're getting even more dogs. They need so much food. I guess all the literally all the scraps are here. Okay, jitterbug is quite good. Can't get jitterbug unless we give up the uh, fetch. But all this food does nothing for us. We could adopt. It's not worth it. the The adoption cards are worth three points each. Actually, yeah, really useless turn. I guess we just want from the right here. Jitterbug is nice though. Keep the training card, keep the fetch card. Bone is good for dirt monster. Great idea. Sounds like a great idea. Oh, can't use heal effectively. Still feel like we're in a good position. We have hidden points here. They have hidden points. They're actually going to feed all their dogs. We just need dogs revealed on our turn. Coming from the right, this walk looks nice. We have nine hidden points here. We have the fetch ball still. Just so much food that we can't spend. But frisbee and walk is like all we can score. They have fed all their dogs now. This will be the final round, okay. So should spend the fetch ball on the chew toy. all this just useless food we're getting. Mm, does it actually benefit us to adopt? We don't have teacher's pet or best friend. It's just not better for me to adopt. 2v peeper small dog is break even, but better on tiebreaker. It'll still let me talk. So, these bones should give us, the bones are currently 4, but they should be 6, so we've we got plus 5 points, we're going to be on 48. Yeah, I get dogs aren't efficient, but dogs plus traits must be efficient.
they adopt what? Oh. Don't know, actually, literally don't know how I could have done that any better. There were no dogs on my turns. Just five wasted food, but there were no there were never any good cars on the on the turns. <sighs> Favorite things are pretty good. Yeah, like any other dog, we just have a clear victory. We have so much food. And like two rounds in a row, there was only food, some bones, which we could make use of because of dirt monster. Well, I was going to say we have had a pretty good day, but apparently we haven't. What does adoption do if used? If I use the adoption earlier? I don't think it generates any more points. You want a friendly art game, Charles? Or should I just queue normal? I don't think we're having enough mind if it's only my level though. Or is Charles grinding arena right now? Charles not even online. So I'm back to 8th. I feel like I can do nothing and still just chill in top 10. Play one for the content? Alright, that's what we like to hear. We'll, we'll make it a quick game. We've got the Charles Alliance going on. <laughs> Your BGA is... I don't understand. Your BGA is still loading. Like, BGA has never been amazing for me, but it's never been that bad for me. Get 60k experience for Arena Champ. Experiment away, let's have a fun game. I guess for you, we should have map pack enabled. I know you're a fan. This will be the last game. I see the offline. <laughs> I 
because BJ has been having big problems. There we go. Estimated duration 81 minutes. Somehow I don't think so. Oh yeah, we're gonna zoom out again. Okay, I don't mind what I'm seeing so far. We've got three continents. We've got Europe expert and we're first player with thing with thing on five. I like herbatologist here for easy money. We're starting partner zoo. I think we're starting partner zoo Europe. Partner zoo into expert on Europe. This makes sense because it's a reptile and a size one. It's also a reptile. I like sunbathing. I don't know that we're starting release. I feel like we can go without. Good luck. End goals, favorite zoo. Love to see it. Let's just start Europe. Might even, with herbatologists, might even be able to... I have to be a bit scared here, actually. We'll start with expert. Uh, with all this card draw, might be able to... Like, if we do size 1 here, we could potentially play both. Sunbathing, extremely good. We could like just afford both. We do have to be conscious that it might cause the break. Also going to be before we get herpetologist out. We'll build first. Also like that this puts the uni in range of a petting zoo. Um, it would be pretty bad if the if equals the break though. Size five, size five Asia. Vulture release over there for money. It's a, I have stuff I want to do. I think he doesn't mind causing the break. I guess, do I really mind either? Okay, okay, we're in business, we're in business. We can X out this, get Herbatologist down, get a ton of money. I think we sell both these guys. Hornbill's interesting. Can't figure out what this uh, animal is though. I think it's just Vulture. It's not Elephant. Size 2. What? What is going on? We are going to be so rich though. We can't quite greet it and draw cards again. Maybe it's just pilfering monkey and he's baiting me. Like, if this was a pilfer, it'd be especially terrible. Are you really trying to pill for me from a size 5 here? I'm sus. See, I kind of feel like drawing right now. But it gives... He could also have jumping, which would be disastrous. There's a lot it could be. I'm just going to play him. If he pilfers, he pilfers. Sell everything. Maybe I should snap something bad in case it is a pilfer. 
We'll just take the Europe. I guess it's not bad though. Ooh, okay, we're getting money. That actually gives us enough for petting zoo, which I think we do. Look at this. All getting close to five Asia though. Vulture. That is a stacked kiosk. We also sold the hornbill, which he probably just got right then. Dude, I thought with our double animal play we'd be ahead on income, but nope. Let's go petting zoo into uni. Just hand size. Draw cart. Oh, hang on, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. We kind of really have to take this away. He might have Asia release, but we can't let him have that. Now we can also do the project and upgrade build. We just caused the break here. Oh, native farm. Is he going to do Asia 4 or does he have release? We're taking snapping and we want native farm. Whoa, actually there's, there's some good cards now. Meerkat Den. We have Ibex already. Americas. Glad we took that then. I think we native farm first. Upgrade build, get the uni build around native farm some. Play the Ibex. Polar bear exhibit. Build is upgraded, so this is uni block. Don't do it. Oh wait, you can't uni block. We didn't grab the uni last round. Have your hand size. Uh, we definitely don't want to put Pilfering Guy in range. We'll just draw from deck. That was worth it. Right now, looks like... Okay, freeing up the size 5. Did not expect that. Got something else to go in there. Play Ibex, snap up Meerkat Den. Oh, we get a free uh, size 1, which I forgot about. That's going to help us build. We don't particularly need the rep. But it's as good a spot as any. Must be an Asia animal. It's just a bird. Okay, 
give me a cat. Me a cat we can build here for some more native farm points. Just take like another build action. We can basically build fully. Get this five money. And then we have a massive native farm coming in. We have a lot of cards we want to keep though. Feels bad drawing another one. We basically want to keep these three. I feel like we still draw and leave Pilferer. Yeah, okay. We definitely did not want to reveal that. That's a really good good take. We can even play that. Interesting little build action. I think we have time to X this out. Um, like, we probably just grab a partner zoo anyway. Or another uni, even though the break's like about to happen. I think we get rid of low mountain range. But we only have one worker, so association doesn't really need to be at five. Let's do a full build. Really don't need a size one. We do need a size two. Size one here kills our map for two points. Here it's one more point. Uh, it doesn't really kill the map, but it's just useless. It's two more points. Actually doesn't kill aviary spot though. Alright. We have snapping, this is break. We might want to snap up Penguin Pool. We, we want these three for sure. Ornithologist as well. Penguin Pool feels like the right snap, although even Pilfer is annoying. Elephant's really good. If he does a project right now, snaps elephant. He has to play an animal to get five Asia first. Now he did have the hornbill. He scavenged it from that probably. Yeah, I think we just snap elephant. Might be a distraction, but he's already got the size 5 for it. Oh. Always draw from the deck. Take snapping, obviously, going to take expert on Africa. Here we'll just go hand size uni into native farm. Can cause the break, but he has another worker. Took worker at 2 CP. We'll just go uni. Don't actually need to upgrade animals. Might be a SOS. I don't know why we're upgrading a SOS. Could just be sponsors. Oh yeah, we get two. Yeah, I feel like we don't need animals.
does take pill through it, we should be behind in appeal for quite a while. Do we want to spend two X's to play arcade as well? I'm going to say yes. This might put us ahead in appeal though. Well, we're, we're already going ahead. We're getting pilfered. But arcade gives us so much income that I think it offsets it a lot. Filling map seems like it's not going to happen with all these one gaps. Relax, relax. Let's build a size 5 touching the institute. I'm super happy if this is break 7. I'm super happy if this is break 7. There's no way break 7 would make sense. I think we're just doing build clever back animals again. Yeah, not sure we're keeping elephant. Although do we have Africa partner zoo. Yeah, honestly, we should be we should. Oh, we need an X. What we really want is the Mamba or just one other Africa icon. Bears interesting. Tech Institute's good. Okay, Flamingo's perfect. Penguin Pool is... Monkey's not happening. Penguin pool probably dies. Cause the break, see if I can. We have five Africa. Tiger might not happen. Yeah, breeding would have been nice. Huh. We get we get breeding and we can play it immediately. Don't know about that. We have no way of getting that. It's a shame. If we clever it makes it interesting. I think we just need worker though. We need Africa partners who before we play animals. Play we'll play Tech Institute for money. Sweet so we, we want quicker breaks. This also threatens us to get the eagle now. Doesn't seem to care. Well, we're about to get pilfered. I'm actually not sure he's going to snap up the eagle. He is. He's going to snap it up. It makes sense. We need a size 2 for Flamingo.
we break five, get Africa. We have to spend an X to get Africa, maybe. Okay, we're definitely spending an X now that we've been Venomed. We still have a native farm point up here if we want. I guess it's an animal's upgrade. To Africa. Okay, glad he doesn't have anything else. Uni's not a big deal. Yeah, uni uni doesn't matter. Well, uni's good for us for Tech Institute. Time to on sponsors. We're just gonna break five anyway. We have so much money. Our income's also fine that I don't really care about getting the extra income from these guys. Could play spokes now. Nah, we, we want the money. That lets us play both these if there's not a break. Actually, that's not true because of Venom. So please, please break. Damn it. Could also sun bear into maybe I was kind of expecting him to just break there didn't expect another animals action thing is I do want to build again I want I want another size five for the tiger But now I really do want the, the the annoying thing is I want to play both these. But Venom is pissing me off. Could just play Elephant. I guess we could also just play Flamingo. Research is good because we have a free uni. Yeah, this is a bait, can't afford it. What we, what we really need now is clever. Large can support it too. Still got a size 5 open. Which can't be for the Dugong, thankfully. Okay, this uh this X token is actually pretty clutch for us. We don't have enough money to play Mr. Tiger. We could get 12 money though from. Uh, no, Snowy Owl's a much better snap. Hmm. 
think what we have to do first is X back cards and just hope we have a couple more turns. We know there's an eagle coming, but it shouldn't be able to end in one turn. Build seven to fill map. Maybe we do only have one more turn now. So we can also just ignore build. We have Sun Bear. We're getting we're getting our turn in anyway. But this costs way too much money. Don't have another project. I think we just need X's and we're close to another break. But I don't think we even get another turn. I think I just gave him the two points, or maybe even the money needed. I mean, you can take random cards. This doesn't let you play Eagle. Uh, you just filled your size five as well, so you can have the cards. So no eagle coming out now. Owl's good though, it's not enough to end. It's like we can build a size five, break nine. Snap something good. Ooh, needs another Asia animal as well now. I guess we can even build six. Because why not? <laughs> Map is fillable. It's not going to get to that stage. Uh, so large animals. <laughs> They're still eagle. I mean, we're, we're, we're like dead anyway. Not sure any anything saves us here. Being able to play Tiger would have been nice though. Croc is playable. I mean we're just, it's the only playable thing. Asian elephant, oh yeah, let's go Asian elephant. Can even snap raccoon here. So 
So just eagle into small animals to finish. Eagle Raccoon. Ah, uh, but do you feel... Okay, cards is just messing with me. I guess I have... <laughs> I guess I literally have no size one. I don't, I just have to do cards as well. All things considered, that's a really, really good draw. Like, Croc goes now. Because we get Bison Hypnosis release. Don't have enough X's though, because the Sos going to be at 1 now. Oh, Rhino, oh no. At least we have two end games. Oh, Rhino also fills the map, lovely. So I guess that's the reason why we don't build six. Mm, one X token wouldn't have done it anyway, though. Look at all that appeal. Um, Wombat's the same as Bison. Throw the Bison out there anyway. Oh yeah, we actually, oh, we're actually so close to filling map. We're one turn away. Can't handle all these size ones. Damn, architect. That's just expert on Asia being nuts. GG. I thought we had a decent start with the sunbathing, but was not as good as uh, as this start. Yeah, really well played. That's so much value, especially when age is the project. Look at all the pavilions. Interesting starting spot. I was like, what the hell is that one kiosk move, but... Totally worth it, like, getting a 5 income kiosk in the first round. Just had Herbatologist and uh, Little Chameleon here. I mean, Eagle, Eagle you'd, you'd have to snap up. And I kind of gave you the, uh, kind of let you just have the Pilfer and Snowy Owl. I think the game was over by then. 
If I'd somehow got the eagle, maybe. I like the idea of going for five Africa more. I don't know. I don't know that, that it makes a huge difference. Yeah, I could see you hesitating with the eagle. Anyway, we'll call it there. Can't compete with last week, but we did improve for sale. We're still in top 10 arena for Ark, so we didn't actually lose any ranking. In fact, we actually gained a rank while we are on stream and not playing. Still a fun night. Thanks all for tuning in. Have a good rest of the day and see you next week.